program, like when I was 12, back in the projects, we would have little talent shows in Boston. And we would do like Biggie was the big deal back in, the, in that time. So mm -hmm. we would do like little routines to Hypnotize and Junior Mafia and, and actually perform them. Um, so there wasn't a time where I had like personal technical training. It was back in 2007, which was just three, four years ago, here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I took my first class at dance school along with Michael Peel, okay. who is a well-known choreographer here in Atlanta. Uh -huh. And um, that's my first class. So it was not that long ago that I had an actual class. Well, it's, diff it's difficult for people to portray you other than what you show. Um, I came into the audition and into the um, show being exactly who I am, just a real person. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't necessarily consider myself an underdog until I saw, you know, I was with a bunch of young girls who just took dance classes since they were like two. So it was like, okay, I'm, not, I'm a little different, you know, right. but I still didn't consider myself an underdog because... I was the oldest, I was a little more well rounded a little more mature, so I had other things that worked for me well. Um, so the fact of the matter is that the last episode, it looks like I just went in the house and then crying over missing my baby in one day. That was like two and a half weeks. Okay. So I feel like that right now they're making me out to be a cry baby, but I'm just very passionate and I love the things that I love and my joy is one of the things that I really love. So I don't care, they can show me crying about her all the right. time. <laughs>